Guys, this is my crayfish. I just put my crayfish on the feta and I shook the feta. Okay, guys, this is it. You just put the crayfish on your feta and you shake the feta properly so the sand and the dirt can just go off. Okay, so everything can just come out of the crayfish. And you know, that is it. You just shake it very well so you can eliminate the sand and the dirt. You know, after that, you have to, you know, pick them one by one okay when i say one by one not really pick it one 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 you know you can just have a handful and you know check properly if you still have dates or things that are not wanted inside it okay guys that is it and you can see how beautiful my crayfish look now isn't it beautiful now i'm going to start picking them like i said before you just put them in your palm and start you know picking to check properly if you still have some unwanted crayfish or some stones inside okay guys that is it it's very good to wash your crayfish not only your crayfish generally your Africa food you know understand they come from a very far distance and I think personally that you really have to you know wash them so you can eat them with a mouthful now it's time for me to rinse my crayfish so guys you have to add enough water okay to cover the crayfish so the sand can settle down okay when you add enough water the sand will just go down and you know your crayfish will be up so guys this is it you're going to rinse it properly so your crayfish will be fresh and clean now i'm going to sieve it out from the water okay guys i'm just going to sieve after you know washing with my water now i'm going to rinse it for the second time just going to rinse it like this just in case I still have some sand under so they can just go out this is it guys it's very important for us to wash our crayfish you know not only crayfish like I said before food from Africa so guys it's time for me to put my crayfish on a tray so they can get dried I just use my hand to spread them so they can get air so now this is it guys this is it. I'm taking them outside now to put them under the sun so they can get dried properly. Okay, guys, it can take up to a day or two for them to get dry. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that they will still get dry. So as usual, I'm going to be covering with my net just to prevent fly from perching on them. Okay, guys, the net will not stop it from getting dried. Okay, it's a very light net. Thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you all so much till I come your way again. Bye.